Today, um, I'm doing top balancing on the batteries. I set the voltage a little bit lower at 14.4, um, but these batteries can be um, charged all the way um, 3.65 volt. So at 25 amp hours. So we did um, keep regulating the batteries or tweaking them. And though these batteries, when they came from battery hookup, they said they are 100% new. They never been used, but charging lithium ion phosphate or lithium batteries, I have the parameters that were already um, given to me by the, uh, the seller, battery hookup, and I was playing with it, but I don't wanna just go with the full throttle. So I set them up and see what we're doing right now. You can see um, after we already charged them the last time, and um, they're sitting for a while. The thing about this lithium ion phosphate, they tend to go back and the voltage drops compared to what uh, my experience with uh, lithium ion, these are lithium ion phosphate. The voltage tend to drop after they sit for a while, and it's not like holding the voltage compared to lithium ion. This is my opinion, you have yours. You might have experienced something different, but this is my experience with both of these batteries. And I have seen or I have learned from the previous years now, year or two going using the lithium batteries more than that. And uh, you guys have seen all my videos and um, this is all the uh, my BMSs I created uh, by JW Solar USA. The batteries are all linked and come here. You see everything tied and it's balancing every cell simultaneously. It's not like taking, taking high voltage from the other cells and bringing them all the way, make sure everything is uh, tied up. The way you can tell that this um, battery is almost about in a sense of it's low, the other one is high. When you interconnect these wires, my BMSs I built, and they're gonna arc. Each battery that is low is gonna arc. When it arcs, that tells you that battery is low, it needs more uh, power. So that inrush power coming in, and it, it, it creates the arc because it's a lot of uh, amps and volts rush into that uh, cell, then all of a sudden it's gonna arc. So this is a temporary setup. I don't want you to think this is how gross or maybe um, a non-professional look, but this is just, I can able to balance all these batteries. You're talking about 100 cells here. They are created into five modules. The 20 on each, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 cells right here. So what is happening is tweaking everything after that. The power is gonna get to the cells like this the other panel right here this is the bifacial here there's a lot of snow sitting on top of that panel and i've seen i've shown you guys the video the last time and just check it out and see exactly what i'm talking about you see um where the panels are sitting they're not on a roof they're not like a thing it's just laid just lay everything flat on the deck and mind you guys we had almost about uh, two feet of snow yesterday. According to my, not the TV, but according to my place, and the snow is all the way to my knee. And I was stuck, I can't even go to work because my car was buried into that thing. I can't get no way to get out. So guys, this is what it is. And um, I'm telling you, it's not easy. But this is what it is. It's, this is Minnesota. And the sun is just trying to take a peek a little bit on the, um, on the horizon. And you see, sitting here, I can't move my car. I can't go anywhere. So till we get the place cleaned up. So it's tweaking the batteries. And uh, it's going to be uh, the 3.65. 
5 volts going to be the max because I want to charge them all the way max. 3.65 volt, then after that I can regulate it not to go that high because I want to keep the batteries healthy and so that they can last me longer. So I'm going to charge them almost probably 90-95%. The next time if I want to use these ones now, I'm going to change the setting instead of go to 3.65 volt. Then they float at 3.6. So I'm going to regulate that, maybe bring it down to uh, 3.6 for absorb. Then it can be and, uh, 3 point, um instead of 3.6 it's gonna be probably 3.4 or 3.5 for float i can keep them there so I don't, i'm not gonna use the 3.65 volt anymore to go max okay i just want to make sure that it pressurize all the batteries and this one is bringing about 38 and let's check this one here almost 50 volts i was seeing about seven amps coming in earlier speaking of from the bifacial and this is what it is so right now i just want to make sure I give them more the pressure so that they can distribute the power evenly do the sharing thus i uh, uh, shorten up the uh, the length of the wires because these are all connected to bus bars so they don't have any um, extra wire but this is just approximately about five inches five to six inches long so they interconnect the batteries okay this way how the battery was set up but um i got it a little bit longer compared to these guys here because of the spacer see they have more space these guys are all locked in so that's why this one is a little bit longer because of the bus bars the way I already set them up before and put the uh, Kempton tape on them, they are locked. You can see right there. So these are the batteries I'm dealing with. If you're uh, curious, these are the top band, the LFP 3.2 volt, 25 amp hours. I got from battery cup. So, and they have fuse, you can see inputs of these. So these are all temporarily set up because someone was trying to school me the other day about like using the proper wires or something. And um, I think he doesn't even know better because if he knows me or he has been in this channel, you can see mostly everything we are using is uh, professional or standard or it goes a premium. That's what we're using. We don't use any kind of uh, flimsy things here to um, persuade people from doing things and this is uh, my thing I'm doing things that uh, um, um, the things I'm showing here this is what I do and uh, everybody has his or hers to do whatever they want to do but this is what I'm doing here I'm showing guys what um, not shoving things on people's throat to do things the way I'm doing them. They can do anything they want to do. But uh, so far, so good. This is my thing. And this is our project. There's always going to be our project. You're always going to be as one body a learning process and passing out information the way I do things, the way things work for me. And they might not work for you that way. But um, because what I did, maybe whatever you want to inc incorporate it is maybe it's already fabricated or maybe it's already upgraded or you upscale it, which we didn't do the same exact thing. Some people said, JW, um, I just did exactly what uh, you did on that thing and everything is working for me and good for you. I'm happy because you're happy with that. But so far, so good. It's about time for us to jump start this thing right here multi plus 248 volt and yesterday i finally able to find these batteries again to one of my my um vendors 
I was buying batteries from before and um, I get hooked up with battery hookup and um, I'm gonna see they have them but they want they want for one cell is fifteen dollars so you, you're gonna be paying thirty dollars for one cell which I bought from battery hookup is a box it comes in a 12 or 24 in a case so like this now is 20 here it's just about four more this is how i bought them from battery cup so cases so i bought i think about four or five cases of these from battery hookup um i saved them for almost very close to a year because i have a lot of batteries to talk about on lithium ion that time and um this is what it is so right now we went to absorb the, uh, the amps drop the amps drop you can see they're all in parallel or get stacked together you see it jumped to absorb right away and it drags this one too so after that's gonna go float so the parameter I set up it went to 16 14.7 when it's pressurizing the batteries, then all of a sudden it drops. So it's going to be on the 14.6. Five, this one doesn't show the decimal. Uh, Victor don't show the decimal on the screens. So 14.6, supposed to be 14.65. Then it's going to go finally to float. So anytime from now, it's going to go and float. You see the lights? Anytime. Anytime from now. So let's keep the video rolling and I'll show you guys soon. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe.